How's it going everyone? So today we're going to be putting the head back on the block. Got my mate Matt here who's going to give me a hand as he's a mechanic and I can show me how we do it. Sweet, let's get into it. So we're running a Tomei head gasket, 88mm by 1.5mm thick and it's come with this oil gallery, smaller one. This is 1.5mm 1 1 and the stock one's 2mm so it just res helps restrict oil flow to the head and um, when you install this you just want to make sure you can't really see it but that the chamfered edge goes down in first so we'll uh, install that now so take your punch and a hammer and just tap the old one down about 10 mil or so should do it. Right, so take the Tomei one, put the chamfered edge down. Take the hammer and just try to put it in straight. That's just a bit more than flush. Yep. And then we'll just take this bigger punch and just quietly tap it down till it's just below the top. Yep. Sweet, that's done. Alright, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install the ARP head studs. So what you're gonna want to do is make sure all the threads are cleared, cleared out. We've already cleared these ones out. So using compressed air is the best method. And then you just want to take one of the studs that are provided and just check, wind them down into each thread and just check that it's not catching on anything so that when you torque them down it's not going to strip the thread or anything like that. Right, so you're going to want to take the stud and you're going to want to put some of the lubricant that comes with it on the top and the bottom you don't have to put heaps on but just a good amount and we'll just wind them in till they're hand tight, that's what the instructions say and then just repeat the process for the rest of them Right, so we've got um, all the head studs in hand tight, and now we're just doing the the washers, top and bottom, with some of that lubricant too, as that sort of says, to do the in, in the instructions. Right, so now we're ready to install the head gasket. Sweet, just like that. Alright, so now we're going to install the head. So we'll just lift it from there and put it on the block. Oh, 
And you make sure it like push down on your end just to make sure. Yeah, there we go. Lock them to those locators. Locators. All right, now we've got the head on. We're just dropping the washers down on top of the or over the head studs, which we've um, lubricated. And it doesn't matter which way up they go because they're they're flat. They're not chamfered. So we'll do that now. So Matt's just using a screwdriver and a pick so he can sort of slide it down over the top of the head stud without without losing it. Yeah, you can see the washer down over there. So with your ARP head studs, they give us instructions here. So now we're just going to put all the nuts down. Uh, just get them finger tight, pretty much. And then it says here that you need to tighten them in three equal steps to 105 foot-pounds of torque. So we'll just divide that by three and then do that in those three equal steps. And then down the bottom here you can see the uh, bolt torque sequence. So you start in the middle and work your way out evenly so that way the head goes down nice and flat with no rounds. So again Matt's just using a screwdriver to drop that nut down onto the head stud so it lines up nicely so that when we try and tighten it it's not going to try and strip the thread. Right, so we've got a torque wrench here, set up to 35 is the first one, divided by 3, so we're going to go do them all at 35 foot-pounds of torque, then 70 foot-pounds of torque, then 105, which is what it says to do them up to here. Follow the, the pattern. So we've adjusted the um, torque wrench to 70 foot-pounds of torque and now we'll just repeat the same pattern. Last one, 105, Let's just repeat the same pattern. Had you epix this one? So that about does it for this video. Super stoked to have the head back on the block and starting to get somewhere with the engine finally. Uh, huge thanks to Matt for coming and helping me out. Um, I'll leave a link to his workshop, YSM. If you need anything done on your car, hit him up. And also a link to his YouTube channel. He's got some awesome drifting videos on there, so you can check those out. Remember to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time.
Tweet.